we study honeybee health and we're looking at nutrition of bees as well as diseases and other stresses for bees. Led by U.S. Agriculture Department researchers here at the USDA Bee Research Center near Washington, D.C., a team of U.S. scientists has discovered that rising carbon dioxide levels, so-called greenhouse gases, are robbing bee food of its protein. The bee food is called goldenrod pollen. Without the pollen, bee nutrition, especially for infant bees, has significantly declined in quality, threatening the existence of bees everywhere. The huge spike in CO2 from 1960 to 2014 shows an alarming decrease in the nutritiousness of bee pollen that bees use to feed themselves and essential to bee colonies surviving through the winter season. The study shows that flowering plants are often blooming later because of climate change brought on by man-made global warming, and that too is negatively affecting bee pollinators by reducing the production of worker bees. The unique part here is that they actually show that not only do the, does the timing change a bit, but the actual pollen that comes out that's presented to the bees is of lower quality. Pollen isn't of a high enough protein quality. That's the building blocks that they would use to ra raise the baby bees. So all of the development of bees from egg to adult is built on eating pollen because that's a nutritional protein source. What happens, do you think, then to um, our food supply? Because without bees, right, we have a problem. Yeah, well, honeybees, I mean, for our, from our selfish standpoint, in a way, they provide pollination for a third of the foods that we eat, and most of the really interesting foods, the berries, the fruits, a lot of the vegetables. So those foods would not be available without any pollination. They wouldn't be available for humans to, to consume. So we, we would feel that impact. On the natural systems, bee, honeybees and other pollinators, there are many species of pollinators, uh, perform an essential role to keep the world green and to keep flowers, uh, seeds produced by these flowering plants. So that would be noticed in terms of the landscape, in terms of the diversity of plants in the world uh, fairly quickly if we didn't have bees. Bee farmers now are having to adjust to the new reality of global warming. They are having to provide additional nutrition to stressed colonies and help the bees survive an onslaught of attacks from diseases, pesticides, and now warmer temperatures and increased CO2 levels. Many animal and plant species are predicted to go extinct in the next 50 years due to human activity. But if bees go the way of the dinosaur, we could face mass starvation.